Hello and welcome to my Let's Play number 8 of The Long Dark. Bit of damn action going on today, a little more thorough search through it, and let's get right to it. So here we are, just after having got lucky with a wolf killing a deer, and then we shot the wolf, so... What I want to do real quick is just to warm up a little bit. Um, dropped some wood here. Uh, just checking on the cured materials. And we'll just drop everything here for the time being. We'll take some wood with us, obviously, so we can make a fire while we harvest. And we'll also harvest the ruined snare, which gives us some... Reclaimed wood, which we'll also just leave there. And then I just need to get familiar again with my setup here. As you might or might not know, uh, as you might or might not know, this is actually the first time that I've sort of set up a second base inside the dam. So my routine here is not quite as fleshed out as it is in the office. And things will of course get uh, progressively worse uh, as we move on into areas which I do not know my way around at all. So a gradual, gradual process of not knowing what I'm doing more and more. Okay, so we've actually, yes, slept a quick hour just to warm uh, warm up again and then we'll pick up a couple of things uh, there's actually some meat left here which we do need to cook so we'll just uh, get a, a bar in for the calories and we'll also drop the sewing kit which we don't need we'll keep the wood and I think we also might get rid of the feathers. You know, just traveling as light as possible, obviously. Um, especially if you're going to be harvesting 10 plus kilos of meat. So then, quick snack here. And we'll actually leave the gun as well. Bit of a gamble, but yeah, not to worry. And then, of course, we need some um, accelerant and some tinder, which we're just going to harvest really quickly. We still have seven hours of daylight left, so no problem there at all. And we are set. Take some wood with me just in case. That would be another thing to actually, you know, have in a table or a spreadsheet or something. Uh, how long does it take to harvest a single kilo of meat so you can just sort of more or less calculate how much wood you need. So off we go. It's not too far, luckily just across the train tracks and then down that little slope. And the wind has also died down, which is quite nice. So we won't have any problems of moving back and forward. So there we see the deer carcass and... Oh. Missed, <laughs> missed the branch there. The carcass, and then on the frozen lake, as then uh, again we see the um, the wolf carcass. We'll just see how it goes with um, with time and everything um, to see if we can actually do both. I would like to do both, but then uh, we'll see. So I'll set up the fire. We'll try it once without the accelerant. We'll see if we get lucky. Apparently not, so then one more time with the accelerant and off we go. Wonderful. And then we'll just add 
a little bit of fuel and gets harvesting. So yeah, just under two hours for all of that. I am warm and I'm actually not losing heat, which is good. And then we will move on to the Wolfie. This actually takes a lot longer. Um, I'm going to leave the guts for, for the time being. We definitely have enough of uh, the guts curing for the moment, so I'll just leave those. Uh, maybe I'll come back and pick them up uh, a little later. Uh, oh yeah, we're actually getting hungry now as well, so definitely time to get back. Again, I think this is a good opportunity to thank everybody who has tuned in so far. Um, this channel recently passed uh, 100 views, so, uh, you know, in two and a half weeks that's um, certainly more than I expected. Thank you to everyone who took the time to actually look at this, well, yeah, <laughs> first attempt at uh, presenting a game. So, here we are. And first things first, as usual, are to get everything organized. So, we'll certainly get some food, some calories first. And then we'll just put all the meat that we just got in here. That's why I like the lockers actually a lot better than the than the file cabinets because you can just store so much more in them obviously. Put everything down for curing. Yeah and what I'd actually like to do is uh, get that meat cooking um, as quickly as possible. Oh, also thirsty, so we're running a little low on water and a little low on calories, but yeah, we are able to manage, no problem at all. So the problem I think we face at the moment is that we don't have any wood, or only very little wood, and also we don't have any tinder. So this could be a problem. We'll head downstairs. Yes, um, yeah, as I said just now, we don't have any tinder, so this uh, obviously didn't make much sense. You can't harvest the book, no. Okay, um, this is actually quite bad news. What we'll do is we'll head back upstairs and we'll just drop everything. And I think then it might be a good idea to actually go through the rest of the, the dam. There is one more hatch, I suppose, one more large door um, at the far left of the, the, the big room um, below. So I think that's what we should do. Uh, we'll take a lantern with us. And uh, yeah, then we'll, yeah, we'll obviously store the meat since that's um, dead weight. And yeah, I think that should be fine. Maybe we'll drop the knife as well and yeah, that should be fine. Oh, and 
off we go. Yeah, the parts of the dam are actually a little... a little too dark. I was considering turning up the, the gamma, but that also sort of takes away a little bit of the... the immersion, I suppose, of playing this game. So, yeah, I left things as they are. Um, let's just hope that the parts where it's actually that dark, or as dark that you can't see anything, um, are limited. So, here we are. We are in the lower parts. Oh, there's actually another lantern here. That is excellent. And a broken arrow. And I am an idiot. So, hang on. We'll just turn around and go back inside. And I believe these arrows can be salvaged for their arrow heads. So, that's certainly... Something we'll take care of as soon as we get back on track here. So we'll just have a little look around. Sewing kit. So it's just, I suppose, going to be usual looting procedure. Okay, there's another door here that leads out. So that will certainly be interesting to see what we find behind there. Okay, just being absolutely sure that we've picked up everything. See, so what we're actually looking for is Tinder, and there we go. Maybe this game isn't as hard as it's made out to be. <laughs> or maybe you just need a huge amount of luck both is possible. Yeah, and those air ducts in the in the bunkers sometimes these air ducts contained loot, but apparently not here, so oh okay, hunting knife again. Never a bad idea to have a couple of those. Ah, another accelerant, also useful. Bullet. Pretty good. With all the food we're finding, I suppose this is actually also possible to... Oh! Luckily, we've got a second one. Uh, it's also possible that we'll uh, maybe just finish the looting run here. Then we'll get a good night's sleep, since we have got enough food. I'm not sure how we're doing on drinks. But we'll see. Um, I think that might be um, one... Might be a good idea to... Get an early night, since we have been doing lots and lots of stuff. And our guy tends to get tired very, very quickly, so... Some scrap metal, always nice to see. Oh yes, and I do need to bring a crowbar along. There are a couple in the main room as well, actually, which... Uh, oh, quality tools! I still don't quite know what you use the tools for, but I'm sure we'll find out. Because it used to be to repair the the gun, for example. But, uh, yeah, obviously that's no longer the case since you have the, the rifle cleaning kit. And the whetstone, which we picked up just now. To fix up the hatchets and the knives. In my opinion, I think we found other materials which have been of little more use than herbal tea, but that's fine. Uh, we'll have a little look. Oh yeah, there's a drink. Perfect. Nothing in the microwave.
Mm-hmm. This is certainly tea and coffee. <laughs> Always useful. And that looks like... Oh, there we go. Just some more tinder. Actually, the <laughs> most important thing. But there we go. Okay, so apparently there's another broken window. Actually, if I'd known this, there might... Uh, I might have taken the gun with me, because... Smashed in windows could mean wolf presence, but apparently not along here, so... All the better. So, and now it's just a question of backtracking, obviously. And getting back to the main... Well, the main portion of the dam. The portion of the dam where we've set up shop. I really like this. This is sort of the the next part, the 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 innards of the dam. I really like that this has been added. And then obviously it's we're not done yet, so uh, there's even more to be seen of this dam. So I'm really really excited to find out what is behind door number two. And here we are. So yeah, it's getting quite dark now, so... This is where I suppose you won't be able to recognize that much. And on the other hand, I'm not prepared to have the lantern burning all this time. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, again, I'll just uh, have a look what it looks like once we've... once I've uploaded this, and um, depending on that, I'll decide on how to proceed if there's a lots of content that will be in this dark. Okay, so here we go. We'll fill up on calories and also drinks. So yeah, we're actually doing pretty well. We'll leave everything as is. Yeah, we're also getting really, really tired now. So we'll just put everything where it belongs. Nope other way around. We'll dump the knife. Um, I mean the... Yeah, okay, what are we gonna do? No, I think we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna put everything in the container. We'll take the wood out, obviously, because that doesn't belong there. Uh, we'll do some harvesting of the tinder in just a sec. Scrap metal goes in. Actually, we'll put the torch in with the... Yeah, I'm just not um, <laughs> very consistent <laughs> with my sorting techniques, but um, again, yeah, once we move over here entirely, it'll change around um, a lot. Then we'll put all the clothes in. Um, we'll put the cloth in as well, obviously. Uh, anything else? I think we are good. Mm -hmm. Put in the torch here as well. Technically, I should put in the whetstone as well, but we'll... Um, no, drop it. Uh, I won't need to drop it and place it. Uh, 
I had lots of tools now. Um, again, don't quite know what we have to use them for yet, but we will see. Just make sure we don't. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> so, okay, placing the mat, and we'll uh, take a, a rest here for a couple of hours. Our usual regimen, of course, six hours and four hours. So then we'll drink, of course. I will learn at some point that um, picking it up is very silly. Um, okay, so... Okay, whatever. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on the light. And we are going to harvest this stuff. Screw sleeping. And again. Okay, and we're going to place it, and we're going to, yeah, we could also place that, but we're just going to put it, we're just going to put it in the drawer for the time being, along with the other one, I suppose. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, all my, the organization here is certainly not as structured, I suppose. So, I apologize, uh, something apparently went wrong with my recording there. There's just a slight portion missing of us going down into the main area of the room and starting a fire, cooking the meat and melting some water. And this is actually also going to be the last thing we do before we... Um, head back to the office. Um, so we're just obviously gonna drink some water and eat some food. And I still have the bedroll in my inventory, which we need to obviously leave here. What I want to do is actually I want to carry as much of the harvested meat back to the office since... Um, well, for the time being, at least, I would like to, or I plan on, constructing all the hide clothes there. So you definitely need a, a, a quite substantial amount of food in order to be able to do, you know, crafting for sort of 12 hours and 5 hours and so on. So you do, it's actually time where you don't go outside at all. So we'll just try to remove as much weight as we can. We'll obviously drop the... The sleeping bag, or the bedroll <laughs> sleeping bag. <laughs> and then we'll take the pelts. As I say, we can actually do quite well without the guts for the time being. We have quite enough of them at the moment. And then we're going to go and pick up all the meat as much as we can. I will end the episode just before we set off on our voyage back home. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and join me on our little journey. See you in the next episode and bye-bye.